Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to the start of this playthrough of Vivisector Beast Within, a game that I previously did a first impressions video on and thought it was janky but interesting, enough to come back to at some other point, and now that I'm going through my backlog, I thought this was the good time to hit this up. Especially because this is apparently a fairly short game at only around 5 hours. To reiterate what I said in the first impressions video, this game was released in 2005 and developed by Action Forms, the developer best known for the Carnivores games, the yeah, Ukrainian developer. Though I didn't realize it was also the developer behind Cryostasis, Sleep of Reason, a game that I LP'd in the past and enjoyed quite a bit. It's a very weird game. It was also their last game, sadly. But uh, yeah, let's get here into Cryostasis, or into Vivisector. We're gonna go with surgery difficulty since it's difficulty number three. And this may prove to be a mistake since, you know, Eastern European games are usually more difficult. But I think that's what I did the first impressions with. It's also worth mentioning that this is a game that is heavily inspired by the Isle of Dr. Moreau. To the point where one of the alternate titles for this game has Dr. Moreau in it. I think it was the creatures of Dr. Moreau. Right, I forgot about leather-clad special wait. forces lady. What? I need to tell you something. Come on, Malika. You know it's over. Listen, please. You need to know this. It's really important. Don't start, okay? Now's not a good time. You know... We might not get another chance. There are rules about not banging your fellow soldiers, and then there are even more rules about not banging your commanding officer, which I'm pretty sure is their relationship here. <laughs> I do remember this game's very bizarre intro. Also, these cutscenes don't look great, but they that are honor, kind of stretched. I have no time to explain the assignment to you, so listen carefully. As you know, a week ago, Liam Quaid's squad was sent to the conflict zone with short notice without taking necessary precautions. We've lost contact with them and need to launch a rescue mission immediately. That's where we come in. The only thing we've got is a- Did he just put that moth in his ear? We'll get airlifted to their possible location and hope for the best. At least we know who we're looking for. With our combined efforts, we should all make it back. Hopefully. I like that there's no actual part of the cutscene where you jump out of the plane. But yeah, we've airdropped onto this island. Listen up. The beacon signal is coming from a small wooden structure. The map position is a green flickering dot. Kurt, sneak up to the shack. We're watching you. Move! Okay, so before we get in here, I want to turn down... Hmm, I kind of want to turn down the brightness, but unfortunately that will reset the resolution. So I might have to do that by the next episode, because it looks a little bright here. But what I wanted to do is turn down the... ...mouse here, because it is pretty quick. Alright, that seems a little better. And what is our quick save? It's F5. So yeah, this game doesn't look great, visually. But it is a game from the you know, mid-2000s, so... I think that's kind of on par. All right, so we've dropped here on the island with our special forces team. Can I... You think I can change the FOV like this? No. It's just that gun is, like, so cut off. Right, so we're dropped on this island to look for this missing team. It just says the conflict zone. No explanation of what the conflict is or where we are. Silence. Over. But we found this mysterious shack right at the drop zone. Mm, that's unlucky. 
Fish. Shovel. Mysterious glowing beacon. This is Liam Quaid. If you're hearing this message, we are probably dead. I don't know what's going on here, but it's not a military operation for sure. Nor is it related to our assignment here. The only thing I know is, you gotta get out of here right now. Jesus! Get That is just audio chaos. So yeah, we came under attack by metal hyenas, as expected. I always loved you, leather lady, whose name I think was Malika. It's just really weird that they set up, like, this relationship between these two, and then she immediately dies. <laughs> like, instantly. Alright, so our team is now all dead. It actually looks a lot better now that it's raining. Maybe just because it's darker. Sable 1, this is Eagle 2. Message received. Searching for possible extraction site. Sending potential coordinates. Hold on. Weird. Right click is switch weapons. So yeah, we've been left alone on this island now, and now it's time to actually figure out what's going on here. I suppose that glowing beacon is actually just the objective marker. It's just... really weird. And we got some mysterious soldiers keeping an eye on us here. Okay, so crouching actually does increase my accuracy, it looks like. And this is the reason that the game is called Vivisector, because of the vivisection system, where you can just shoot pieces off of people. And of course, this was removed in the German version of the game. Pistol bullets, some health, and a picture. Not sure how this is relevant. Is that an illustration from the Isle of Dr. Moreau? Also a sniper rifle. If I remember, there are some pretty strange enemies that are going to ambush us around here somewhere, but that might actually be... not for a while. Ow, ow, ow. That bush is shooting at me. Also, having your screen covered in blood when you get shot kind of sucks. Alright, I took a lot of damage there. I can't remember if this game had armor. But there was some health back here, so let's go back and grab that. Large med kit. And quick save. Oh, not another bush, man. Yeah, the fact that there's no, like, iron sighting and that my default rifle is not very accurate means I'm gonna get shot a lot. I suppose I could use my optic rifle. Okay, the zoom is Q, and then you have to very slowly scroll in. So I don't know if there's really a concept of stealth in this game. Or if these guys are going to know I'm here immediately. Is that a man, or is that a tree? Okay. I don't think there's anyone else out here. So yeah, I think I played about 45 minutes of this in the first impressions. You haven't been identified. Act 
activate the transporter. It's your personal identification module. If your transporter's malfunctioning, call the authorization center for further instruction. There's my authorization. Oh, we have, like, no ammo for this gun. Ammo is, of course, displayed by the lightning bolt on the bottom right. Shit. Should have turned down my sensitivity there with the DPI on my mouse. Identification not received. The authorization center has not confirmed your transporter operation. Do not approach. Wait for ID response, or you will be fired upon. I mean, at least these guys... Oop. At least these guys gave me a warning. Those other guys just immediately started shooting. Yeah, we're gonna let these, uh... Teleporting hyenas take care of them. Are they hyenas or are they jackals? I think they're hyenas. I just love that I can shoot their entire chest off in like one bullet. All the skin is immediately flensed. And I think these are supposed to be normal humans that we're fighting right now. Not like reanimated corpses. Alright, well at least health is fairly plentiful. Hmm. At the pace we're going, we might actually catch up to where I ended the first impressions in this first video. I think we should just hang back for a moment, because these guys will aggro us above even the stuff attacking them. I think they all died. Or at least all the uh, animals died. This guy survived by being the one that's standing above the ground. Also, I feel like the audio is a little quiet. We might actually be able to bump this up. Oh, it's at full. Okay. <laughs> Thought I turned it down. Okay, that was a bad idea. I'm going to mute it here, but you're just going to hear a, a loud buzzing otherwise. So, I guess this is as loud as it's going to get. It's, it's it's skin all faded off first. That's really weird. Vivisection kill. I think you actually do get a bonus for that if you stab them with your knife. Also, when they teleport in, they do this thing where they like blow a hole into any surfaces. Okay, we stole his transloader. So yeah, I think we can get points now. I'm not sure what the points do. I think we have to jump through that hole, but it seems like there's a lot of map over here. Hmm. Okay, that's blocked off. I thought we could just kind of wander off into the jungle. Oh, no, maybe we can. Ooh, it's like barbed wire and electric. Okay. I guess we'll jump into the breach then. This weird reactor here. I 
I think I jumped in there and just immediately... Oops. Died. <laughs> How do they fall in there? Son of a bitch, now we're back here. It's weird that we can't get ammo for these guys, even though they are also using M16s. They're not too tough. Uh, there was a health kit around here, right? It was in the back of the truck. Alright, so we grab his transcoder again. Or translocator, or whatever it was. I like that we just got, like, an overlay on our existing HUD elements. Like, they were already there, but now they're boosted up. Okay, how the fuck did I fall? I was, like, walking along here. That's definitely a bug. <laughs> I, like, slipped through this tiny fucking one-inch gap. Did I not save again? I thought I just saved. Fatality. I ain't got time to wait for you to bleed. Like I did. <laughs> yep, yeah, just reach into this pile of bodies. Uh, where did you come from? You get lost, buddy? So, I guess stay the fuck away from the edge of this catwalk or you'll just get absorbed by the ground. Shotgun bullets? We don't have a shotgun yet. Is that health? Uh, where do we go? We gotta go up here. So yeah, I remember that I ended when we got to some kind of primitive village. Seems like somebody had a bad teleport. Okay, this is just the other side of that fence. That's gonna be another quick save. I want to, like, look around and explore, but I don't know if there's any reason to. I'll find, like, ammo. Seems like no. They just wanted to make a big-looking level. Also, a weird thing where the mini-map just zooms in more and more as you get closer to your objective. Okay, don't walk into that. Thanks. <laughs> I can't even jump up here. So this is an invisible wall blocking me from going up. Cool. Yep. Let's just walk into this very obvious trap. 
Oh no, how could we have gotten caught? I mean, I say it's a trap, but it also is protecting us. I'm almost out of ammo. Speed kill. Alright, that was actually pretty easy. But I might have to stick to the pistol for a bit. Because we haven't found more M16 ammo. And we have no sniper ammo. Great. Got more of these guys up ahead. It's weird that... Oh, well, now there's ammo. I can say that enemies don't really drop ammo. Ooh. Okay, you can zoom with the pistol as well. <laughs> Extraction point is this way. Oh, the... Rifle is four, not three. There's just a gap right now. But I'm going to assume that three is the shotgun. Did we get a shotgun? Sable one, this is Eagle two. I'm getting close. In the first impressions? I think we did. This is Eagle 2, entering the corridor now. His lack of expression there. Well, guess I don't need this. So now we're extra stranded here, with no team, and no chance of survival. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the crash site. There is something I want to try that I didn't do in the first impressions that somebody mentioned. There's a shotgun. And here is a new enemy, the flamethrower cheetahs. <laughs> So we're not even really fighting human-animal hybrids here, we're just fighting cybernetically enhanced regular animals. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with the music sting. We knew the plane went down, we watched it happen. <laughs> save here. There's uh, some stuff up there. How the fuck would I get up there? I can probably climb that wing. <clears throat> that looks like a secret.
So yeah, one thing I didn't try was launching myself using this ejection seat. <laughs> And it looks like that was actually something they expected you to do, because I got an exploration bonus. Alright, now where the fuck are we? Wait. Was I supposed to do that? No, I think that was just a shortcut. I want to go back there, though, because I want to get that secret. Not having a map marker, I just have to try to guess <laughs> if this is the right way. I think this is. I wanted to take a look at these guys, but it's impossible to do without getting set on fire. At least their fire doesn't do very much damage. So yeah, this difficulty seems pretty decent so far. It's not like overbearing damage as some of these games are. Okay, so I think I can get the secret by climbing up the wing and then jumping down onto the the bits sticking out. Assuming the wing doesn't just set me on fire. I might have to take a little bit of damage here. Please be something at least minorly worthwhile, and not just, like, health and ammo. <laughs> Medkit, secret area. Flight recorder, do not open. Wait, that's it? All I get is a health pack? Ugh, I thought this was something. I mean, we got 40 points. Whatever those are for. I'm glad that they actually accounted for the ejector seat being a thing you might try out. And not just like, oh, it just kills you. Wait. Turner? This is Liam Quaid. Can't believe you survived. I mean, that explosion. My but God. he didn't say anything. Liam, this is Kurt. Kurt Robinson. We came here to find you. But, guys, I've got a connection with Kurt Robinson. Okay, no, that was the we other guy. Tracer. We're gonna get out of here after all. Liam, listen to me. It's not gonna happen. There were five of us. Now I'm pretty sure I'm the only one left. They're all dead. Turner, too found his radio. How many you got there? Three of us. Two weeks in hell. Unbelievable. I'm not sure why the subtitles just Please, went away. Get out of Too many of them. Go, go, go! It's like, whoops, we forgot to, uh, have the rest of this cutscene. I don't know what just happened. I think something happened with the loading here. Let's see if I can fix this. Alright, so I think I had that problem in the first impressions as well, where the cutscene just doesn't load out when it ends. So all you missed was one line of dialogue where Quaid says, You have the transponder, so I know where you are. Just continue to your destination. And that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, not really a big deal when something like that happens, as long as we regularly quick save, because who knows if that'll happen with another cutscene. I can't really tell if these guys bite you or they electrocute you. Pretty sure I do get a bonus for cutting these guys apart though. Holy shit, the knife does not have a good hitbox. There we go. You get one fucking point for a vivisection, so not worth it. Am I supposed to go this way? I guess so. Oh, 
Oh wait, so just going backwards lowered that wall. Well, this opened up as well. Never mind. When the door opens, another door closes. Is this a puzzle in my FPS game? What is the puzzle here? Okay, I can't just climb up there. Or can I? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, so I think the only reason that opens is so you can get back up here. There's a little ledge I have to jump to. Because I do not remember this from the first impressions, you know, it's not like I remember every minute of a game I've played. Oh, but it's not... I have to close it again. I'm gonna keep dying of fall damage here. It's weird going from playing Stalker to playing this because of how little fall damage there is in Stalker. So I'm like almost not concerned about falling and then I'm like, oh, half my health is gone. Especially here, I gotta like carefully drop down. there, but there might be health and ammo hidden around. I don't know. I feel like I didn't get deep enough into to really determine that. Otherwise, I think we're just going to be beelining for our objective most of the time. I mean, there are secrets. Weird stuff's going on around here. Nothing covered in our training manuals, that's for sure. You got out last these stupid four-legged creatures. We got bigger fish to fry. Okay. This just spit out a bunch of ammo. It's like, yeah, you don't need to look around. Just here you go. Have at it. I don't feel like there's a good way to get through these fights without taking much damage, but you can see that all those hits I took was only 25, so these animals don't do that much damage. I don't know why they gave us a sniper rifle so early in the game and then like three bullets for it. <laughs> Seems like they would have just waited on that. I can't imagine there are too many secrets though, because it's like... There isn't anywhere here that looks like there should be a secret. I'm thinking, oh, okay, there's a big open area over here. I better go look around for secrets. But I feel like there's just going to be nothing but forest over here. This could also be the direction I'm supposed to go in. So I have to hit the beacon first. Like, it's just open enough that it beckons me to explore, but... So far, my explorations do not seem to be rewarded by anything. Like, there's- I could go all the way over there, but do I want to? That seems to just lead back to where we came from. Honestly, this is probably why the first impressions took me as long as it did to get this far, is because I was looking around. Yep. 
This all looks like nothingness. Nothing that really draws the eye towards the secret. Also, secrets that are just like, here's a pile of ammo on top of a hill over here are not very interesting secrets. Like, Serious Sam has a lot of secrets, and some of them are like that, but I think for the most part it usually has interesting secrets, even when they require you to wander off. So that's kind of my... one of my points of judgment for secrets in a 3D space. As opposed to, like, Doom and other classic games like that, where the secrets were all based on activating things. Whether it wanted you to shoot something, or, you know, mash E on a door. Okay, we've got another obvious trap to walk into here. Say hello to my never-ending pistol. Oh, okay, now it's a high hide. Because you hide high. Doesn't stop them from cooking you, though. That's cool. That was a fatal fall. Are you kidding me? Why would it load back here? This wasn't even the last fucking save. I'll load my quick save manually. Ugh. It's all the way back here. Well, then again, all I did was wander around outside. We didn't really lose any progress. Let's just beeline for the objectives then. A lot of weird stuff's going on around here. Nothing covered in our training manuals, that's for sure. You gotta outlast these stupid four-legged creatures. We got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Shotgun's okay, but I don't think you can one-shot the cheetahs. The cheetah pyres. I guess you could also call these flaming hot cheetahs. <laughs> Am I regenerating by shooting stuff? Watching my health and it was going up by like two every time I killed something. <clears throat> I live on the blood of my enemies. What's up here? Anything? Probably not. For some reason, I'm going to indulge my curiosity anyway. Is this where we came from? No, this looks like a dead end. Please tell me there's something back here. And that this is not just a complete pointless waste of time that somebody modeled for some reason. <laughs> oh my god, that's exactly what it is. Well, if the player tries going over here, we want them to feel like th there was something to explore here, so... We just made an empty valley. 
mean, hey, maybe this terrain was auto-generated and then they just populated it instead of going, does it make sense to have a anything here? This segment here sucks, though. They just put you up there, and it's like, now you just get constantly flamethrowered. That's fun, right? Especially because I have no health. And I have to activate this. I can't just continue on to the village across the river. Alright, save here. was a secret area. <laughs> oh. oh my god, there's so many of them that I can't move. I'm literally just getting sucked up into them. Yep. There was too many of them there. I don't think it... Lo well, well, that's weird. So it loaded, I was about to say, it doesn't load quick saves, but it loaded my previous quick save and not my one I just did. Weird. Oh, this was an autosave. What? I don't know how these saves work. But I think I should just hit the quick load when I die. Yeah, that sucked. Boy, even with the, uh... With the health up there, they fuck you up real quick. Boy, that was awful. It's just there's so many of them that they actually can just bunch up and stun lock you in place. Get to the village. There's an authorization center there. Be sure to activate your transloader, or island security won't recognize you. Over and out. Alright, so... I thought the village was over there, but I guess it is behind this gate here. So I guess we'll end this first episode when I get to the village. And then next time we should be in fairly new territory after the first, like, five minutes. And again, it looks like there's an obvious path leading off there to go check out. But it's just going to be another waste of time, isn't it? It's just another pointless dead end. It seems like all of the secrets so far, or at least the ones I've found, have been just very slightly off of the main path. But hey, maybe there will be someone who is an expert on Vivisector Beast Within watching this that can tell me what I should be on the lookout for secrets. I would like them to give me some non-pistol ammo again. Seems very limited how much of that they give me. Okay, another medium medkit. Huh? 
and more pistol bullets. Why pistol bullets? They like really wanted to make sure the pistol was actually useful by having it be the only thing you're allowed to use. I remember swimming and fighting some of those hyenas, but I think I might have just got them to follow me into the river back there. All right, so we've reached the village. I think we're gonna save here, and then next time, we'll get to a part that I haven't seen yet, because we ended the first impressions kind of in here after the first little side area. So, until next time, thank you for joining me for the start of Vivisector Beast Within, and I hope you'll come and vivisect with me again next time. Take care, folks.